I'm gonna teach you the proper way to use a torque wrench so that you don't over tighten the bolts on your car. Let's get right into it. Welcome back, RevMatch family. If you wanna learn the basics of how to work in your car and save money, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I make another video. I got two different torque wrenches here. This one has got a half inch drive and this one has got a 3 8 inch drive. So the bigger one goes up to a higher torque specification and this one goes up to a lower torque spec so you can start lower and go a little bit less than the big one, this one starts higher and goes up to a higher number. Why exactly do you need a torque wrench, you might ask? Well, a torque wrench will allow you to set a specific torque value that you can look up in the manufacturer's manual so that you don't end up over-torquing a bolt and breaking it. Hey, let me know if you've ever messed up the torque in your car or you've broken or over-tightened a bolt. Let me know in the comments below. I kind of want to hear these stories. So this torque wrench goes from 20 pounds feet up to 140. I want to set it to 87.5 because that's what's listed in my Audi S3. But we don't really need to do that exact a number. This can't go to half pounds feet. So I'm just going to take this up to 88. So let me show you how to do that. So basically you grip, you grip this and here, you grab this end with your other hand, hold it, and you just start twisting it. And let's see. So we're getting up to, all right, that's, Getting up to 60. I'm going to bring this up to 80 next. You can see now when the zero is aligned with the 80 here, that means I'm at 80. So all I need to do, I just need to bring the numbers up. Sorry, it's a little hard to see, but bring it up to 88. And that's where we are. That's 88 pounds feet. If I want to bring it up to 90, I just need to bring this line up to the zero where the 90 is, and now it's at 90. I'm on the 3 8 inch torque wrench right now, and let's say that I want to set it to 43.5 pounds feet. It's really simple, it's got numbers along the shaft, and it's also got a handle with a dial on it, so all I need to do is the same as the last time. Let's rotate it up to 40, so the zero line is up with the 40. And there we go, there's 40, and let's bring it up to 43.5, rotate it a little bit more, two and a half, three and a half, there's 43.5. Notice this one is a locking mechanism, you might want to lock it before you start using it. Now it's time to torque the bolts in my cars. First we're going to start with my 2016 Audi, and then we're going to go to my 1989 Nissan 240SX, they're a little bit different. But first, let's talk about extensions. Can you or should you use an extension in your socket? Well, in the case of this Audi, it's actually necessary because the torque wrench won't clear the fender because the socket is not deep enough. Let me show you what I mean. I just put this on here. This handle is touching the paintwork. We can't have that, so I've got to use an extension. It's fine to do that. I'm gonna put it in. So all you need is, all you need is one click to get this done. You go two clicks, you've over torqued it. One click is all you need. Stop after the one click. Put your hand here just to stabilize it. Other hand here. And that's it. You stop. You want to go in a cross pattern. One click. And that's it. Now let's take a quick look at my 1989 Nissan 240SX. It has a different style of wheel bolt. You can see this wheel bolt has these little splines on it. So for this particular application, I need to use this adapter, which has special splines inside. You probably can't see that. And it fits right over it like that. Now in most cars, you're not necessarily gonna have to do this. However, in my 240, I've got these special wheel bolts. I'm just gonna put this on. You always start by hand. And I'm just going to get it rolling like that. I've got a 21 millimeter, which happens to work for this application. That's going to fit over here very nicely. So I've set my torque wrench to 90 pounds. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in. Listen for that single click. And you're done. That's it. I want to help you guys with some simple things, some basic wrenching so you can get comfortable working on your own car without spending a ton of money. If that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. And remember, I really appreciate you guys and keep the pedal down.